Hello everyone. Let us discuss about the Raise protocol today. So it goes by app.raise.sx and by going onto the website on the home page, you'll see that they are talking about something uh, totally different. So they are talking about completing a Genesis quest and it is the first campaign that is uh, driven on the end. So 5% of the RAX token supply will be given to the early supporters of the project. So on the Raise platform, whatever they are building, they are simply distributing 5% of the token. That is what is given and that is what is shown on the home page of it. But when we want to actually understand what the project is, then we should go for the dev docs. So when we go for the dev docs, we get to understand what exactly the project is about. So they are talking about building a project which is a holistic toolkit for DeFi applications development. And they are a protocol uh, for DeFi applications development. They are basically focused on trading and augmenting revenue. So uh, most of the people generally have this tendency of entering into the crypto ecosystem, the traders, uh, the lot of traders. So what they do is this lot is focused only about maximizing their profit or rather optimizing their profit because there are a lot of fluctuations in the market. And that is where platforms like uh, Raise uh, come into picture because what they simply do is they define the analytics, they define the uh, the semantics of the crypto trading and then they try to optimize your profit or minimize the losses if the market is showing a reverse turn. So these are the kind of platforms which are actually needed in the times to come and that is where most of the things are dependent upon. So for a trader community, this is a very good platform. And if you talk about the white paper, they say that it intricately uh, outlines the raise pool protocol architecture, functionality and key elements. I mean, if you go about this, what architecture they'll be following and what uh, say terminology will be there, uh, technology, but what they are talking about. So everything is given in such detail, such you can say a meticulous presentation of all the details that are uh, given in the platform. This gives a true sense of decentralization. So everything is an open platform. Everything, including the developer flow, you check about that. How will the developer registration happen? How will the things proceed? So this gives you a feel that the project is totally decentralized. Everything is out there and open. There's nothing hidden. And that is a true essence of the Web3 world when we are talking about. So the KYC requirements are there. The development tools will be required. And you talk about the new, the app flow, which is already there. You talk about the investor flow. It is there. If you talk about the X apps marketplace, so they are talking about that also. So almost everything that they are building or that they are going to build this uh, platform. So RaiseX platform, whatever they are doing, they it is out there in the open, out there for everybody to see, judge, and of course the use cases. So when they we are talking about the use cases, they are talking about the re-staking, uh, rebalancing platform, the yield farming rebalance, the liquidity staking on BNB. RWA tokenization, of course, RWA backed stable coins. So almost everything that you can think about in an ecosystem, which is uh, required for uh, say uh, profitability and other things which include uh, things like the protecting the interests of the investors. That is where this platform comes handy. So when we talk about all this, uh, there's a detail about what is RAX token and RAX token, the whole of its tokenomics, how does that work? So this is a good project, I must say, to bank upon, truly decentralized in a lot of senses. And uh, they will also, they are also talking about how the deflation uh, mechanisms or the deflation economics work. So that when they will burn the token, what is the kind of benefit that is going to come down to the investors? And trust me, the early investors, the early onboarders get the maximum advantage of such projects because they definitely are the ones who are uh, banking on the project right from the initial stages or investing in it. So that is one advantage you can have the DAO governance ecosystem and the allocation to the emergency pool. So everything that a project need to have is there in this. If we talk about the distribution of tokens, so the ticker and the other distribution requirements, the total raise, everything is given here and uh, beautifully given tokenomics, you can say. So everything is mentioned in detail and quite balanced. So a truly decentralized project, as I was saying in many respects, and that is what make this project uh, stand out. So they have given, uh, done quite a study, not just of the tokenomics, but also of the economics uh, in real sense that they're talking about how the sell pressure will uh, dominate the token pricing and how the inflationary pressure will actually work upon it. So these are the things that uh, you can say the community incentives are clearly laid out and that is one important point and advantage that you can have if you are onboarding the project early. So everything is there 
and they have given a proper roadmap also so well laid out well detailed uh, meticulously planned and everything out there in the public this is uh, the thing this is something that makes the project stand out and makes uh, probably my pick if you want to go for it so right now they are uh, on a quest and the rex token is up so you can simply what you can be is you can be an early onboarder you can collect you connect your wallet by going here so all the wallet options are available and you can simply go there connect your wallet and can be an early onboarder and a supporter of the project and once you do it definitely a lot of advantage will fall upon you in the times to come and that is what is the project for you so for more such projects and for more interesting stuff stay tuned to coin cupboard thank you bye bye